good morning, everyone. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, everyone. Thank you guys so much for coming to today's live Technical Tuesday session where we're going to talk about um, technical trading setups in both the Euro USD and the US dollar Japanese yen. We're going to go over what we feel may take place in the market shortly. So um, we're going to start with the Euro USD. Let me just talk about what's been happening um, lately. And then from there, I'm going to share with you what I think will exactly happen. Well, let me not say exactly <laughs> what I believe will happen. But um, all right. So then let's start with the Euro USD. Now, we're currently on the daily time frame of this particular pair. And as you guys know, um, price was moving back and forth within this channel, creating lower lows and lower highs. And then we had a break to the upside and price broke this swing high and it broke this swing high right here. So then we had this bull bullish rally to the upside to this zone of daily structure support right here. You could see to the left that it was structure support. Um, but um, right in this zone, this is where we saw price create a reversal pattern. Now, for those that are familiar with classical chart patterns, what do we see around here? Uh, for those who are familiar, um, let me just get you guys involved. But um, we do see a classical setup that could hint to a potential reversal. Um, right now, we don't know for certain. We just have to wait for price to fully play itself out. But um, Brandon chimed in. He said a double top. And um, yeah, is yeah, a double top or an M pattern. That's what we see right here. We see this left top, price rich traced. And some people enter the buy right here. We had this right top. We didn't get an extension beyond these highs right here. And then from there, price expanded and fell lower. And uh, right now we see price testing this zone of structure support right here. And this is a key zone that we isolated and identified prior to the break of this level right here. We knew that price may find some support in this area or it may pause right around this area so then we have this extended move to the downside you look at our slow stochastics it's in oversold territory so then there's reasons to believe that we should be looking for a potential buying opportunity um you know but we have to wait we have to wait for that confirmation to take place but we see this expansion to the downside now if you look at this rally to the upside that happened uh, prior um, that happened during the month of October. Uh, we could see that this rally started around October 1st. And we could see that for the for most of the month, for pretty much almost the entire month, the Euro USD has been on this tear higher for this month of October. And um, of course, right around the 20th or the 21st, that's when we started seeing this consolidation or this double top form. And then we saw price slide lower from there but um you would think that based off of how price had this rebound to the upside remember it broke two swing highs it broke this swing high right here and it broke um this swing high it didn't break high but did break this swing high and when we get a higher high and a higher close you would think that even this move lower is just a corrective move in anticipation for another expansion to the upside, a larger impulse wave to the upside. However, um, we do have this zone of resistance that we have to identify because the neckline of this double top pattern or this end pattern is a structural level. You look left, you can see structure, you know, leaves clues. Uh, what was once support here, resistance here, and support right here may function as resistance in this zone so then we have to pay attention to this zone right here if price does rebound or bounce from this area of structure support or the zone of support then we can expect resistance in this area right here there's a possibility or what we could do is just look to see how price action behaves in this zone or area because there is a possibility for us to also see a further impulse drive to the upside to test these highs up here. But um, with that said, let's drop down to a smaller time frame because what we predicted, especially if you were a premium member, 
Um, you would know exactly what we told you guys to anticipate when price reaches this zone. And uh, we have it drawn out right here. What we told our members was that they should look for a four hour reversal pattern, specifically a double bottom or W pattern in this particular zone. So if you go to the four hour chart, let's go to the four hour. Uh, we can see that price. Uh, let me just expand this a little bit, this chart. <clears throat> you can see that when price fell to this long, I mean zone, um, you can see it corrected higher, found some resistance at this 20 um, simple moving average and this daily structure level to the left. We see price sell off to retest these lows right here. And, um, you know, right now we have to wait to see what's going to happen. Uh, we could see a four hour double bottom or we may see something like this where price will expand and test the dollar and ten level before we see this impulse rally to the upside but what we're expecting right now is a potential reversal to take place and there's many ways you can trade this reversal um, let me just um, delete this right quick because um, I want to show you something that you could you guys could look for as well but um there's many ways you can trade this if this becomes the last swing high let's just say that this is the last swing high which it is um, in order for us to look for a buying opportunity we should wait for price to break this high right here uh, right here at um, at around a um, dollar and, and ten and forty three let me change the color because uh, I don't want green <laughs> So, yeah, but we should look for price to break this dollar and 10 43 level before we decide to go um, before we decide to go um, long on this pair. So then um, that's what we're going to wait for. We're going to wait for price to sort of show us what's uh, what's in play uh, right now. So then. You know, right now, we're not going to do anything. Our bias is still to the downside until we see signs of reversal. But uh, for the most part, um, we believe that we will see something take place. And uh, this is what can happen. We can either see, you know, the, the double bottom like this, like what I drew out um, really a few days ago. Or we could see something like this where price does something like this, where we had this, this move slide lower. Price comes, retest this area. Then we had a push lower to retest this dollar and ten level. Price can come up, retest these highs again, correct, and then push higher. So then we could see something like this. And this is known for those that are familiar with classical chart patterns. What pattern is this for those that are familiar? Remember, these are basic patterns. Um, a lot of these patterns you can learn about for free um, if you just search for them. But they're pretty simple patterns. They've been around ever since um, the beginning of the markets you could say <laughs> but um, they do work you know and that's one thing that we wanted we want to dispel that myth because there's a lot of bad information out there um, especially from traders that's trying to sell and pedal the next new technique you know they claim that these classical patterns don't work that they're bad and they're not reliable when that's not the case they're very reliable so then um, if you want to be a successful trader, then just pay attention to double bottoms, double tops and inverted head and shoulders and head and shoulders. <laughs> but um, anyways, let me delete this line. OK, so then uh, we have that pattern that could set up as well. So then we're either looking for a double bottom in this zone or like a head. I mean, inverted head and shoulders in this zone. Um, also, you could do something like this. Let me just draw in. Um, this trend line right here oops okay from here to here to here so we have this trend line through these points right here through this swing low and this um, swing low right here then this swing high and this swing high right here this is what you would call a trend line and if price does break this trend line to the upside then um, that's when you can look for a buying opportunity upon a retracement in price so um, this is what you could do if we do get a break of this trend line to the upside 
then um, all you have to do is wait for price to correct to retest this trend line as support because what was once resistance may function as support and then you look for your buying opportunity upon um, that correction and, and that bullish um, bullish confirmation so then um, you'll look for a buying opportunity somewhere around here but um, yeah that's what we'll be looking for and if you wanted to you could trade up into this zone right here uh, which is um, that neckline that we talked about you can be conservative and um, you know just trade base off, off of um, these uh, previous structure levels right here uh, you know or or right here in this zone or this area or you can take this expand and move to the upside because I do believe that we may see a deeper correction and price may test this zone up here and if price tests this zone around here then guess what we're gonna look for consolidation in this zone uh, we're gonna look for a pause in price in this zone because if price pause in this zone if we see it consolidate and pause then there's a possibility for us to see um, the sellers come in and push price lower and if we do see that then we're gonna have a nice slide to the downside so then anything can happen but um for the most part what we're expecting right now is a reversal buy opportunity within this zone um, price could test the dollar and ten institutional level or, or psychological level and then it could bounce higher from there or it could begin its reversal right now we don't know we just have to wait for price to um, show its hand um, we don't want to assume anything we want for price to tell us the story of the market and then we adapt to whatever the market is giving us. So then that's how you become a successful trader. It's not all about thinking you know what's right. It's all about adapting to what price gives us at that particular time in price history or, or, or the current, you know, current environment. But um, how, like, are there any questions about the Euro USD before we move forward? Going once. Remember, we're looking for a potential buying opportunity somewhere within this zone and area. Okay, going once, going twice. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess there aren't any questions on the Euro USD. Now let's go to our next currency pair, which has really been a pain over the past few days. But let me go to the daily chart first but uh, we're gonna go to the US dollar Japanese yen uh, we're gonna go to this pair uh, let me do that okay so then let's go to the US dollar Japanese yen you know the US dollar Japanese yen at one point was one pair that I let, like to trade but um right now it's becoming the worst pairs <laughs> but um all right Okay, so the, let's talk about this pair. Let's talk about the US dollar Japanese yen. Okay, so, you know, if you've been in our Technical Tuesday sessions, I believe we talked about it like a few weeks ago or even a premium member, you would know that we've been talking about price farming this inverted head and shoulders for some time now. But um, price has not been able to really break and close above this high right here. Let me just draw this in I'm just gonna draw this horizontal array right at this high uh, right here but uh, we can see that price has not been able to break above it even recently uh, we had price pierce this area but not break and close above it which means that there's still some level of bearish bias in this particular area what we do know is that this is a key zone of structure resistance this whole area right here you can see that this neckline was respected multiple times it was support here you know resistance here resistance here resistance here support here resistance here it's functioning as resistance now so then this whole area is functioning as a strong zone of resistance right now and price is having a difficult time breaking above it but even if price breaks above it we have another conundrum because we have this long-term descending uh, weekly um, weekly descending trendline resistance so then that's something for us to pay attention to as well but uh, one thing we do know is that price is testing this zone of resistance the zone of structural resistance that's pretty strong it tried to pierce it but it failed which means that 
their sellers that this is an area of supply and we should look for a possible bearish momentum also if you look at your stochastics it's an overbought territory so then there's reason to believe that we could see price slide lower and how low could price potentially slide well let's talk about it right now because on this chart uh, we see um, let me just draw this in right now let me change the color uh, we see what could potentially be um, or what is an ascending trend line support on the daily time frame so we have three touches we of course we have the origin we have a touch right here and a touch right here so then there's a possibility that if we do see price slide lower and fall lower it could find support at this ascending trend line support on a daily and we may see price bounce higher but uh, one thing we're concerned with is is this zone right here we know it's a zone of resistance so then what are we seeing if we you know if we drop down well for what for starters if we zoom in we can clearly see that price has been mainly in consolidation uh, within an area you know you, you can just pretty much tell you know it's not really moving in one direction you know it's finding support at these at the low of this candle or, or this is the low of that range and then resistance is right up here so um, it really hasn't gone anywhere over the past few trading days but um, that's good news for us because what it tells us is that price is having a hard time breaking above this zone of resistance so then what we need to do is drop down to the four hour chart okay so then right now we're looking at the four hour chart now let me got let me ask you guys a question for those that are familiar with classical chart patterns what what are we seeing again what is this that we see on the four hour chart or potentially seeing what are we potentially seeing on this chart and um, let me start drawing some stuff in right now okay because this one is a little bit different than what we saw before but we do have this trend line right here yep okay yeah I think Marie chimed in and she said a head and shoulders pattern and um, yep you are correct that's exactly what we see we see this head and shoulders pattern I believe um, Brandon mentioned the same thing as well uh, we see this left shoulder head and this right shoulder the only thing about this head and shoulder pattern is that it has a leaning neckline you know it has this cricket or leaning neckline to the upside and typically I hate these patterns <laughs> I hate it when it has these leaning necklines because oftentimes you'll find support at this area if you look left you can see that this low right here this swing low is a structural area it was structured support on the four hour so then um, that's one reason why I don't really like these zones but what I'm going to do is draw in this four hour structure area for the sake of just having it on our chart so then um, let me just draw that in right now so then we have this four hour structure um, support right at this swing low right around here all right okay so um anything can happen but this is how we're going to trade this um right now um so if price breaks and closes below this neckline and below this low right here um this this previous um low right here if price breaks and closes below it then what i'm going to do is just not do anything but wait for price to retrace and possibly retest this trend line as uh, resistance because what was once support may function as resistance and then from there um, I may if I'm confident I may enter this short and, and trade this down to this support area that could be one target or maybe hold it off so then that's something that you could do for the US dollar Japanese and just wait for it to break the trend line to the downside then wait for a correction to retest the trend line and then enter your short or your sell on bearish confirmation now if you really want to play it safe uh, what you could do is just wait for this entire move to take place right here where we get even the break of this trend line so then uh, we see price fall lower find support corrects higher retest this trend line 
falls lower again, breaks this zone of four hour structure support right here, and this trend line, this daily ascending trend line support. It breaks both. And right then and there, we have now clear confirmation that we could be seeing a potential reversal in price. So then when we see that price action, then we can enter a short with more confidence and um, wait for price to retest this zone again because what's one support may function as resistance and then you can enter your short again on bearish um, confirmation. So then, you know, we could very well see something like that for the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. But for starters, if we do see price push down, break this neckline and break this low right here then we could wait for a retracement and if we're confident if we see quote unquote the stars align <laughs> and we see bearish momentum kick in then we can enter a short and maybe have our first target right here and um, see what happens around this area but um, we can also you know just wait for this expanded move to the downside to break this zone and break this trend line and then enter our short so then there's two potential shorting opportunities that we could possibly take advantage of. So then let me identify them right now. Uh, one is right here at this particular um, time when we get the break and close below this low and a retracement. We could look for a shorting opportunity on bearish confirmation or we could wait for this entire move to take place, which could take maybe the next two days or next three days <laughs> and um, then wait for a retest of this zone of structure and then we can enter another short on bearish confirmation so then um, that's how I would trade the US dollar Japanese yen for now um, this pair has been quite difficult it's been a pain to really discern and get a feel for what's really taking place but if you're patient and if you're disciplined and if you use proper risk management and money man and money management, you should be fine. You will be OK and you won't find yourself digging a deep, deep, deep hole in your trading account. But um, that's it for the U.S. dollar Japanese yen. Are there any questions about this particular pair before we move forward? Are there any p questions going once doom, 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 going twice? OK, so, yeah, I guess there aren't any questions about the U.S. dollar Japanese yen, but these um, are two possible trade scenarios for this pair. So then, you know, we talked about the euro USD. We're looking for a potential buying opportunity. Uh, we have to wait for that bullish confirmation and that reversal setup to complete. And then on the U.S. dollar Japanese yen, we're waiting for um, this breakdown to happen in this pattern. Of course, we, we have support right here. But I'll uh, wait for the retracement and then enter your short on bears confirmation. But um, if you guys want more training on how to approach these, like even some of our entry techniques, because, um, of course, we can share with you guys support and resistance and classical chart patterns. But really, the key to successful trading is your entry technique, how to enter markets properly and how to time your entries. So then uh, we do go over that in our private trading community. But um, if you guys want to, we're still offering the $1 trial. Um, if you want to take your education to the next level, please do so. Our month one videos are pretty good. Um, you can have access to them for just $1 and learn some of the uh, four, the core information that we use in the Forex Anatomy trading style um, or trading system that can help you develop and become a professional trader that would trade full time. So then we want to help you guys become that. You know, we want to help you guys have options in the future where you can decide on how you want to live your life because it's very possible. If you know what you're doing, if you know what to look for, then you can trade full time for a living. You know, it is difficult. It does require skill. But what doesn't require skill? Any profession requires skill. You just have to practice and you have to work on your psychology to get good at it. But um, I hope this session helps you out. Um, I know my brother Marvin is here. I know he's been quite, kind of quiet. He's been in the background. I don't know if Marvin wanted to say something, but um, um, he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. Um, yeah, no, he says he's fine. <laughs> Usually he shares a lot on the fundamentals and what's happening in the market. So then you will get that intermarket analysis as well for every position that we do execute. But 
Um, in the beginning of the week, um, this is what I mentioned to our premium members. I was expecting for yen to uh, JPY to strengthen, or in other words, for these yen pairs for a, for a lot, not all, but for a lot of these yen pairs to fall. Um, but we should see what what what's going to happen. Um, you know, uh, we never know. We shouldn't go off of our forecast. Remember, don't trade what you think. Trade what you see. Trade what you see, not what you think. So, um, yeah, but with that said, thanks again, guys, for watching this particular video. I hope it blessed you guys. I hope you guys got something out of it. And um, we'll meet again next week on our next Live Technical Tuesday session. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And uh, remember to always count your blessings, not your pips. And we will definitely see you guys next week. For those who are premium members, we will see you guys tomorrow in our live trading session. But thanks again. Talk to you guys later. All right. Okay. Goodbye.